Today, I'm bringing you a little bit of a different video. I'm bringing you a video on Rogue Company. The reason why I'm bringing this forth is because for one, I just found this footage. I've been holding on to this for a little minute. By the time you look at most of this, you'll be like, wait a minute, why does his hair look like that? I was growing out my locks. This was way before I decided that I was trying to take my career to another place. We're gonna go over a couple different reasons on why I love this game, why I feel like this game still has traction and people are still playing it. And the gameplay will also speak for itself. And I've been preaching now that how much I want diversity on this channel. And that is just one of the things that I'm promising to bring you. We've already brought you a Warzone. We've brought you an Elden Ring. You have Tekken 8 on here. You have Mortal Kombat 1 on here. You have Saints Row 2 on here. You have High on Life on here. We're going to continue to keep expanding, okay? So enjoy today's video. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure you leave a like. At any point in the video, you can always swipe down and, and press the like button. Hit that thumbs up. And at any point, you also can hit the subscribe. And if you do hit the subscribe, make sure that you're putting the bell notification on so that you can be notified anytime I post a video. Thank you guys for sticking with me on this ride and enjoy today's video. Rogue Company is a free to play multiplayer tactical third person shooter. Developed by First Watch Games and published by High Res Studios back in 2020, High Res Studios is behind producing games like Smite, Divine Knockout, or DKO for short, Paladins, Realm Royale, and of course, Rogue Company. You may have heard of or probably still play some of those titles, but that leads me into my next point. High Res Studios seems to know a thing or two about longevity. Seeing as Rogue Company was released in 2020 and is still being played in 2024 says a lot. If you don't believe me, then let's take a look at the numbers. They released Smite in 2014, and according to Steam front page, it's listed at a whopping 30 million active players, still enjoying their product. 10 years strong and still having the ability to attract more users is something that in 2024, the gaming community needs. Most games today end up losing their essence just way too fast. That isn't a knock on other studios and developers, it's just me simply giving high res studios their flowers. But that's the thing that I love about Rogue Company. Its fluid movement mechanics make traveling their maps feel like a breath of fresh air. The tactical shooter aspect comes into play when you see just how effective their dodge system is along with the various types of cover they offer you inside each map. There's even an in-game level up system that allows you to upgrade your primary and your secondary weapons, your melee weapon if that's more your playstyle, your gadgets that they call it in this game, which in simpler terms is your smokes and your grenade types. They even offer a variety of perks for you to choose from. I could go on for days about this game, but I won't bore you with the small things. So with that being said, take a look at the gameplay and let me know in the comments what you saw that might have caught your eye. Enjoy this footage and keep on gaming. The time for action is now. I hear you, I hear you. Eliminate the enemy 
yo at? Come on. Get over here, okay? These motherfuckers are on, uh, on Twitch, man.
It's one kill until victory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 